Good morning guys, Lillian with Lily Ray's Collection. Today we are going to uh, make some flowers um, at a viewer's request. So uh, I started out with this as an example. Sorry. <laughs> um, this is per a viewer's request. We're going to be making flowers. I'm going to be making it with using this, um, what do you call it, a uh, stencil. This is not a stencil. This is a die cut by Spellbinder. And then I also have my punches, which is what I did this with. So um, this I also use a stencil to... Um, Put the words on there and then of course when you work on this you work on it this side so let's just get started and I will show you how I did that also I started experimenting with this um, because I wanted to make another um, what do you call it a traveler's um, a TN um, but this is using napkin so I went to make the napkin durable and so I'll have this video for you probably in the next couple of days okay so let's get started this paper here I um, what did I do with this oh you know I have to show you this first um, well no you know what I'll make a separate video for this I will show you how to get this check texture with just alcohol uh, sprays or eyeshadow um, sprays that you may have I'll show you how to do that so that's another video um, and then um, this one, I manipulated on my system and then just changed the color on the um, music note sheets that I created. All right. Okay, so let's use this. Um, this die here, the only thing I didn't like about these dies is that the dies are together. See that? You can just clip that, but I would have preferred that they would have been separate but it's fine it works either way so I'm going to take this paper we're going to use this paper to make the flowers and I'm going to I'm going to I have my cutter behind me so I'm not going to move it um, I'm just going to cut this in a five inch strip so that it fits through my um, big shot machine So there we have a piece of um, paper, and we are going to, let me get my, I have my plates here. I should get my pretty looking plates. <laughs> okay, uh, my big shot is right here. I don't know if anyone knows how to use this, but I'm sure that you do. there I put some people say that this should be this way like this um, I've tried it both both ways and for me it works the same either way there's no difference so I'm just gonna put the flowers facing down like that and use your space wisely when you're cutting your flowers I don't usually um, tape anything down if, if these because they're flowers I'm not gonna bother um, it's okay if it shifts a little bit let's see here and then just make sure that your plates are okay. 
what's going on. It's not going to go through. Here we go. Sometimes this is kind of um, hard for me to put through this machine. Let's take out my tumbles. Let's go this way, and then I go back. And then I go forward again. And back again. I do this because I hate when it doesn't. And of course, I don't have anything secure under here. <laughs> so we have this. Oh, look, they all fell out. Excellent. So look, a big batch. Oh, look, they're separate. Oh, yay! The dyes are together, but the flowers come out separate. Excellent. Look, and I have tape that I um, that's came on this package, and I just left it on the back of the die. Look at that. <laughs> I don't have to, I don't have to um, reposition them. So all I'm going to do is cut this piece. You could use this as a stencil, actually. You can um, put decoupage on this, make it uh, sturdy, and use it as a stencil. So now, the paper, I used it this way, so that I get a different texture or print, I'm going to use it this way. And so all I have to do is place it on there. Okay. And my mat. I put this um, beige, beige and this, this belonged to my grandson, <laughs> but my cat got to my Fisker's um, mat that I paid so much money for and put her nail through it. So I had to figure out a way to kind of get my... get myself a mat where I could um, work on without having to spend money again. Where is my, I think it's, Let's do that again. I'm going to turn it around. Pull this plate out. And let's see if this is going to work again. So much easier that way with the tape in the back. this mat down because it's annoying when I use never been easier to get flowers out <laughs> this was a happy accident see that okay so now I think we have enough flowers to start with and I will show you how to put decoupage. I'm sure that you know how to put decoupage, but I'll show you what I mean. So these, I'm going to keep the tape in the back there and then just keep the card that it came on and just stick it back on there. You can just take your, any pokey tool or I'm happy with that, that the flowers separated on their own. So now I just press that back in there, and I have a little book that I will show you right now. I'm going to set this aside to give myself more room. these books at the dollar store these binders for a dollar and then I see how I keep my dies 
You can also keep it where you can just stick it on the outside. Keep your, your packaging for sturdiness. Look, I didn't clean this out correctly. Of course, I'm going from one thing to another, but I just wanted to show you while I have it here. See the tape? It wore out. So, what you have to do... Is take your where's my oh here it is your ATG gun run a little bit of tape right there right there and right there and then of course on the top and right there then you take and you just de-stick it a little bit on your arm and then the package is here. You can keep it like this and it won't fall out or you could put it inside, whatever makes you happy. Okay, so I did the same for this. I don't have the package for this because I just said not to throw it out, but I did <laughs> or, re or misplaced it. Um, and then I wanted to show you also, look at my little book. These are little pouches that I bought and I just added tape to extend them, right? Saving money. And here they are. And then this one, I could do the same to this because this is wax paper. So I can just put a line here, de stick a little bit, place it on there. I think this one made me, oh no, it's good. And then your die is secure. See that? Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. I need my. Um, this is a. Uh, what do you call this? A foam. You could get it, you know, from uh, Walmart. I need to get my tool for okay. this for the flowers. This is really it to make uh, for polymer clay, but I had it, so I used it. Okay. All right, so let me close this. And here is my water bottle. plates over here. This is another die that I have and I'm going to use these as a center for the flowers. These come in one strip. What I'm going to do is I'll just clip the ends and um, separate them because I'd like to use it as a decorative element and I have to put my glasses on because I can't see a thing. Okay, so here I'm just going to, and it's okay if the little heart just has a, um, sorry, this is black on black, let me do that. I'll just separate them. Just take your time. It's okay if the heart is affected. four places. Whoops. This one I did correct. This one I didn't. This one's good. So anyway, so that's what you're going to do. I think it's better to just do it like that and make sure that the heart isn't taken away. See like this one? I messed that one up there. So I could still use it by just clipping that, those two pieces. Waste not, want not. Right? Done. I can still use it. All right. So then here, I'll be doing that. All 
Oh, come on. Really? Okay. We'll use that one and that one. I'm going to take some masking tape and put it so that my uh, under my mat so that my mat doesn't um keep moving. I have to get another mat now. So I'll just put it on each end. And then this way I could lift it off. There. This way it won't move. And it's not a nuisance. And I don't ruin my background. And you can't see it on the screen. Bonus. One more. Okay. All right. So I have my water bottle. I have my mat. And I have my flowers. Okay, so these here, I already have. Actually, let's do that first so that that could dry. Oh, you know what? I should have done that before I took the flowers out. Duh. <laughs> I'll do it on this one. I'll do it on the, uh, the green one. Okay, so with these flowers, we're just going to go ahead, set them up. Just like that. Assembly line. Spray it with water. And then we're going to use the little ball tool. I got this for uh, the polymer clay. Um, I think it was like $10. And they come in different sizes. You get you get a couple of them. I'll show you in a minute. This is what I bought. It says, uh, meet your life, Max, ooh, Max, I don't know. Okay, so it's the blue ones, you see? And it came with these as well. So, this, these are all, um, to use, uh, polymer clay, and also these big ones. Uh, look, you can see I haven't even used them. This is everything that comes in this box. Isn't that cool? I think I'm missing a couple of these uh, tools. Here's a little one. So here, you just, can you see what I'm doing there? Right there like that. And just make sure that you don't put a hole through your flower. And this was on Amazon. If you're interested in the tools, just let me know, and I will go ahead and leave a link. Normally, I don't, you know, I'm not affiliated with any of the, uh, with any of the stores, so I don't usually provide links. And for those that are newly joining me, I no longer have a store. I am just fundraising for my sister, Dolly. Hello, Dali. Hello, Migdalia. And um, she's a breast cancer survivor as well as her daughter. And so that's what I'm going to do. All right. So now um, I'm going to take, you can, you know, just set these up. Put another batch in here. Place these down. This way you can make the flowers in an assembly line fashion. 
These actually should have been green because these um, I want to use for the um, stems. So let's go ahead. You could do this wolf. Actually, let's use this one because it's appropriate for this size of the flower. And you can manipulate these however you want, you know. Um, just be gentle. And once they dry, they keep the crinkle that you've put in. done any faster than that and when you do it in assembly fashion you can knock out a couple of flowers put them in containers and have them for when you're scrapbooking because you don't always feel like making flowers okay drop those sprayed too much and then let me do these let me see since this is wet over here I'm going to switch them like that this one's soaked I gotta let that one dry a little bit I put too much water in that and then I'll use the water that's underneath there to my advantage how fast you can do these flowers actually this side is better for these little ones it gives you more crinkle If you push it where you go from the bottom forward and you just let the ball, you roll the, 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 the wand, right, like that, it crinkles it more. You, you're rolling the tool as though you're going back and forth like that. Let's do this one. over and I noticed that these flowers come with a hole uh, in the center and that's from the actual dye which is fantastic you don't have to worry about making a hole in the center okay we have those done here's one that I did Right, I would snip that depending on what I'm going to use it for because you could leave this on until you're going to use it because you don't know, you know, what your project is going to be. And it has a little, um, it, you know, it's a post. It's a post flower earring. And I have the little uh, rubber tool in the back there, the rubber stopper. And isn't it beautiful? Then you could, you know, use your um, oxide inks to um, distress the corners. Okay. Now that we have these, um, one, two, three, let me do a little one for you. And green. We're already at 24 minutes. One, two, three, four, five. I like to use five petals for the small ones. Okay, so. Oops. 
Sometimes the tool doesn't want to cooperate, but what you do is just... Make it work. As Tim Gunn would say, make it work. See, these are wet too much. See, and this one has the texture of the words on them, and that was just using um, uh, paste. Um, I have it here. This uh, textured paste, and I believe this is by Ranger. Yeah, by Ranger. Alright, so now let's just put the flowers together. And I'm going to be using, what am I going to use? I'm going to use my Eileen's glue that I put in this nozzle. This is, I save the bottle and I put Eileen's glue in here because the nozzle, you can open it and close it like that. And um, when it gets dry, you could just peel it off. Easy peasy. See? Look. And then you're ready to go. Okay. So I'm just going to put a drop there. And then take these. Let me get my, uh, my tweezers. Take these, right? And you're going to set them where there's an opening between the petals. That's where you're going to put the new petal. You could put the glue here instead of on top of that. There. And then again, where there's you're alternating them. That's what you're doing, alternating them. Let me use this because it keeps running away from me. There. Then you can take your tool and just gently. more, actually two more, so that you have a full flower. Up, oh, and then one more. Everything slips out of my hands. made the flower and then now you're going to press it all the way down make sure the petals all come up and then you have this one this doesn't have a center but you can definitely add a center to that this glue dries clear so it doesn't matter Here, I have another book, my binder, and this I keep my, um, what do you call this, whole reinforcements in, and all of my faux jewelry, <laughs> my dots, 
my bling, just everything in here. Look at these bottles. Aren't these bottles beautiful? I have to do a video with these. Okay, let me select a little center. And for this purpose, I'm going to use... I'm going to do a purple center since I did... Oh, you know what? No, I'm going to use this. I love these. I love these. And I don't remember where I got them from. This is, um, I think, Prima. I love these. So I'm going to use one of these. Um, hmm. I think these are too big. I need a medium size one. Um, oh, these black centers are too big. I need something small like that. Let me use that one. That has glue there, so I'm just going to go ahead and add the pearl, drop it like it's hot, and then just hold it just a couple of seconds. And then you let that dry. You could even spray that with... Um, I have Pearl X and I put it in a bottle. Let's see where my bottle is. There it is. Is it this one? No, it's, this one's empty. So many bottles, so little time. Okay, here we go. This bottle has some Pearl X left in it. So I'm going to. Actually, I could spray all of these at the same time. And the Pearl X comes in all colors. And you can make your own... Um, oh, look, I missed one there. You could make your own colors. I can also go ahead and um, do a video on that. This is the Pearl X that I have. These are all of the colors. And this was on sale. If you go to Michael's, this is $26. I got it for $19.99 on, on a sale. But I didn't get it at Michael's. I got it on Amazon. So each of these, they're pigment. So they are so concentrated that you only need a little bit. Look. You only need a little bit. That'll last you a lifetime. Okay. So... And you, you just need a, a, a teensy bit. You don't want it to overwhelm it, right? And you dilute. I, I um, use alcohol, rubbing alcohol with this. And just put a dab. A dab will do ya. Now, you see, I'm sure that you could see the gold right there, right here. All right, so let's assemble another flower. Look at this one. You see the gold on there? I think you could see it. I see that shine. <laughs> I hope you can see it. All right, so we have one flower ready, ready to go. This one's going to be a bigger flower because it's going to be in layer, um, layered up with the big petals. See, and once you um, prepare your flowers, you could just put it in a, in a container, in a little jar. This one you could use just three petals.
there. And push. And then you don't have to add that center if you don't want to make it look a bit different. Um, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this one. You could put a white center. The center really doesn't matter. Put the glue in the center. Whoop. And then place it. I love these two colors together. Whoop. And then you just drop it. Just lightly press. And look how beautiful that flower is. And you could spray it again if you wanted to. So that's flower number two. And then these, if they were green, actually I could also, I could put this, and let me see something here. See, I, I needed to make this the dark green. But, um, I'll see, maybe I'll change that color. Let's assemble these flowers and then we'll move on and Denise this video is for you I hope you're enjoying this if you have any questions leave them down in the comment below and I will help you with what I can You could put a button in the center because you could stick a needle through there, through the center hole, and put a little button on there. Wipe your tweezers as soon as you remove it from there. I also have a, a tool that has, um, well, let me show you. <laughs> Where is it? I lost it. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't know where the heck it jumped to. I have this. I'll find it later when I'm not looking for it. Um, let's go ahead and pull one of these off. This one, sometimes it works, sometimes it's just frustrating. No, I was right. I pulled the top off, I think. I can't even get it open. No, if you screw it off. Oh my gosh. There. You see how it keeps oozing out? I mean, it's good, but then the ooze, you know, the whatever it is that that glue is um this has a little thing over here too, a little stick to help you push it away from the suction of the glue. But the glue doesn't stop oozing out. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh my god. You see how it's oozing? So, while the tool is supposed to be helpful, it's not. And there you have another flower. Look, it's still oozing. So if I take this away and get rid of this, it's going to keep oozing. And it shouldn't. Anyway, so many tools invented and sometimes it's just not even worth getting. All right, so we're going to do... Let's put 
let's do another one. nice and crinkle. They crinkle nicely. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to add the black flower to it. Go ahead and use that big ball to flatten it. Put your glue on it. Not too much. And then just place it in there and use the big side of the ball here, ball tool, so that you can put it in there. Um, where's my, oh, and then we'll use another one of these pearls. Let's see if we can use this ridiculous thing that I bought. Oh, let me put the glue. Actually, let me put the glue on here. Just like that. And then we will separate it. Look. Oh my God, now I have glue on my ball. On my pearl. I mean, it'll come off, but... Ridiculous. Let me hold it. One, two, three, four. Look. Look. It'll dry and then I could remove it. And then there's your other flower. Isn't that pretty? With the little hearts? And then if you wanted to, you could spray that again with your Glimmer Mist. Or not the Glimmer Mist, the, the Pearl X that you make at home. Believe me, you'd never have to buy Glimmer Mist again. Okay. Um, we're at 43 minutes. Alright guys, um, let me do one more. This is the big one. But this one is with my... Totally not prepared. I took them out. I'll use this stencil. I'm still trying to get my stencils in order. This is the script stencil, which I don't currently have in my hand. And what I did was I placed this down like this on the paper. Then I used my bachelor and to reconstitute this you can use um, glycerin let me get it so I could show you you know how it gets Hard. You can use this is 
uh, vegetable glycerin, 100%. I got this. Oh, look, I found the dot. <laughs> hey, see, when I'm not looking for it, I found it. <laughs> okay. This is vegetable glycerin. I got this at um, a Whole Foods store. All you do is put a little drop. One, two, three. Three drops. That helps to keep it nice and uh, moist. It reconstitutes it so you can peel whatever's on the side. Because this does get pretty hard. And then it becomes um, pliable. This is just, I'm just going to demonstrate how I did that with a different type of um, stencil. So these I think are supposed to be cherries on the stencil. Take that. And the spatula, I got three different ones in the same package at Walmart. See, and you just want to scrape that off. You don't want it too high. Just like that. You could do this whole paper allow it to dry look how pretty allow that to dry and then you take your uh, die cuts place them and put it through your machine or you can use your punch your flower punch I used um, which one did I use this one which I think is the one that I used or this one I like this one after that dries some with this one um, with this one I had a hard time putting it through the the um, punch because of the raised lead, um, text but um, you can do it if you take your time with it you can do it all right all right guys well I think that that is all for today um, please leave any questions that you have down below and um, I will see you tomorrow any questions um, leave them down below and I will see you soon take care